everyone, this is Matt Tu's show with Intro Stats, and today I'm just going to kind of welcome you to uh, joining me uh, for my, my students uh, online and face-to-face. Uh, -face. Um, I wanted to just give you a little bit of information uh, about statistics in general and, and this class, uh, Intro Stats, that is taught uh, all over the world. Um, my name is uh, Matt Tuchot. Um Most people, the first thing they ask me is how to pronounce my name. So I pronounce it as Tu Show. Right? So that's how I pronounce it, if you want to know. A lot of people call me Tu Show, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, so uh, this uh, science of statistics. So we're going to be kind of going through um, lots of uh, lectures and material on uh, introducing the ideas behind statistics. Now the one thing about this class is it really is an intro class. This is this is for people that are new to statistics. Um, I always like to tell my students that statistics is a deep well of knowledge with uh, with tons where people study statistics their entire lives and uh, we'll be just kind of playing in the puddles, okay? We're not going to get into what a, what a PhD in statistics knows, okay? We're not even uh, close on that. We're just going to get some of the major ideas and the, uh, the major, uh, some of the major techniques that are used in statistics. Um, so give you a good sense of uh, how to analyze data, okay? Um, so just a couple things. Um, I do have a, a really a website that goes with these videos and a book that goes with these videos. So my website is uh, www.matt-toshow.org. It's a great place to go for resources. Uh, my, uh, you, whenever you go to the website, you do want to click on the statistics tab because this is intro stats. And uh, a couple things on there. Um, under the statistics tab, you'll find uh, chapters from my free OER textbook. Uh, introduction to Statistics for Community College Students. Uh, I teach at a community college, College of the Canyons in Valencia, uh, Santa Clarita, California. And um, uh, this is the book I wrote for my students. Uh, uh, so uh, they would have access to a, um, a free textbook. It's OER, Open Educational Resources. So. Um, so that's great. So students don't have to pay for access to that book. Um, I do encourage my students to actually read the book. The lecture videos that I do uh, introduce the topics, but a lot, there's a lot more detail and a lot more examples in the actual book itself. So what I would say is, after you've watched the video on a topic, go read that section in the book and just kind of see how that goes hand in hand and it'll give you a better sense of, of the topic. I also have le uh, links to uh, free lecture videos, so you're, this is you're watching the first one. Uh, so that's also on my website. So you'll see links to my free lecture videos on uh, basic statistics topics. Okay, um, you will find those. I do host those videos on YouTube, but um, if you go to my YouTube channel, it'll just look like a ton of videos, and you won't have any kind of sense of what order to watch them in. So my website. Uh, is much better for kind of navigating uh, what order you should watch the videos and it has links to the videos on the website so everything in my my classes that I teach goes through my website alright so let's talk a little bit about statistics right we're introducing this idea of statistics so let's talk a little bit about a few definitions first thing is statistics really is a language okay it's a it's a it's a language you almost have to learn the language the, all, what all these terms mean and we have a lot of definitions in statistics um, and in statistics we don't have we have different definitions for for terms than you might be used to uh, you know coming from another class when a statistician says bias, they mean something different than maybe what you were thinking bias meant. Or when a statistician says random, well, that, that means something very different to us than it does to uh, people out in the world when they hear the word random. So uh, learning the definitions, learning the sort of the language of statistics is part of being in an in, in intro stats class. You should always kind of be focused in on the vocabulary. I'm always very big on vocabulary with my students. 
So one of the first, obviously, the uh, vocabulary we should look, talk about is this idea of data, right? Data. So we think of, there's lots of definitions of data out there, but I like to think of data as information in all forms. Uh, really, um, in statistics, we're trying to analyze data and use that data to uh, make uh, good decisions, right? Sort of data-driven decision-making in a lot of ways. So think of data as just information in all forms. All right, so there's a couple types of statistics. Um, descriptive statistics, you can think of as the science of collecting and analyzing data. So just getting data and then looking at it and trying to make sense of it and what is it telling us. That's called descriptive statistics. And there's a lot of techniques in statistics that fall into that category. Uh, and then there's another part of statistics, which many refer to as inferential statistics. So this is the science of collecting representative data, so making sure our data actually represents the world around us and represents populations. And then trying to use that data to figure out what's going on out there in the world around us. So we're trying to use that data to make good decisions and understand both populations and the world around us. And that's really where statistics is very powerful. This is why uh, people that know this material are very, very highly sought after in the business world uh, and in almost every walk of life nowadays. Uh, if you have some training in, um, in data science or statistics, that is a huge skill. Uh, in the modern world. So um, there is, uh, again, when you're, when you're sort of um, looking at data, we live in the big data age, so we have, uh, we collect data that has millions of numbers sometimes, and um, being able to analyze that data, um, you can't really do it by hand, okay? It's getting to the point where the, the, the data is so big that you now can't really just, uh, long gone are these days where you're going to calculate things with a formula and a pencil and a calculator. Uh, we've really gone past, the data is really too big to do that anymore. So we use computer programs in statistics. Now, there's a lot of computer programs out there. Um, but um, for intro stats, we'll be using some basic computer programs, um, not the real advanced ones. We'll just be using some basic ones just to get some, some ideas and get some basic calculations and understand kind of how uh, statistics software works. Later, you can use these ideas that you're taught in intro stats to apply to other more advanced programs. Uh, I'm big on having free materials for my classes, so I, I pick two free um, statistics softwares that I absolutely love them both. Uh, my favorite by far is StatKey, which is uh, you can find on www.lock5stat.com. It's a fabulous program. I love it for intro stat students because it really makes them think about the theory, and even when they do calculations, they're really getting a good idea of of what's going on. There's always visuals that are uh, that go with calculations, so I like that program a lot. It also gives us some of the more modern takes, um, so some more modern techniques like bootstrapping or randomized simulation that you don't find in traditional programs. Uh, StatCato is another free program that I like. It's at www.statcato.org. Um, so StatCato is a more traditional program. It has a lot of the traditional statistics calculations that we would expect in a computer program. Um, so I use this for more of the traditional statistics. Uh, my book, uh, usually the problem sets in my book have the StatCato part worked out for you, so you actually don't have to save StatCato on your computer if you're using my book. Um, you can, and if I do ask you to calculate something on the computer, it's almost always with StatKey, because that, that StatKey is web hosted, you don't have to save it, you just go to the website and you click on the button that says StatKey. And again, I'll always have videos walking you through how to use these programs uh, as we go through things. Again, we really, even though you'll see me occasionally walk through formulas and calculations, Remember, that's so you'll understand the ideas of calculations, not so that you will, um, that you will 
I want not to say that I want you to be calculating this stuff by hand with a formula. This is where programs like Staccato and StatKey come in and really do the bulk of the calculating for us. And then we have the tougher task. We have to try to analyze everything and try to figure out what this data is actually telling us, uh, not just about the data set itself, but about the world around us. So that, that is where all of this theory comes in. Uh, just to let you know, again, this is a, um, there is a lot of jobs in statistics, a lot of jobs. Um, you, in fact, by looking, working through an intro stat class, you are really stepping on that path to um, getting a job in the field. Um, again, there's a huge demand of jobs now in statistics. So some common jobs you'll see are data analyst or information analyst. Uh, that's somebody who sort of specializes in analyzing data. Data mining or a data miner is uh, somebody's a uh, data engineer. Um, sometimes you'll see those are specialists in using computer software and using um, different techniques to collect data. They're specialists in collecting data. Um, a data scientist, I like to think of as someone who has some training as a data analyst and a data miner, so they know how to they know how to collect data and they know how to analyze data really well. And they know a lot of the, the, uh, the, the basic ideas in statistics. So they're very, the data scientist is a highly, highly valued job today. But also data analyst, data miner, also jobs that are in the field. Um, all of these jobs have high pay, uh, very high job security, and they're high demand. Every hospital needs people to analyze data for them and try to make good decisions. Every, every sports team, every uh, business, every company, right? Um, just about, there's, there's rarely a walk of life that doesn't need trained people in this area. So it's becoming, like I say, a huge demand where the companies will hire people. And you don't necessarily even, necessarily even have to have a degree necessarily, you just have to have some training in these areas. And in a lot of ways, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving you some training. So don't think of this so much as a uh, math class or a stat class. Think of it more as job training. 